after years and years of development, Roblox finally added AI to their game. So this is the Assistant, and I believe this is the a first version. I'm pretty sure. Maybe maybe they updated it a couple times, but like this this is the beta. This is a beta feature, right? And the way you can get this beta feature, by the way, is uh, it you click on this button here. If you don't have this button, then just go to File, go to Beta Features, and then just scroll and then make sure that the like Assistant or Assistant Preview is checked. So for me, it said Assistant Preview, but then some people said for them it's called Assistant. So whether it says Assistant or Assistant Preview, just make sure to check that box, then click Save, then it's going to restart Studio, and then you should see this button. So you click, you know, you click on it, it opens up a window um, and it says, hi, the original amp, I'm your assistant. Uh, I need to accept the terms of service. So yes, I accept. Uh, so you can select part of a script and ask it to explain the code. You can select the part of the scene and ask me to insert a script to propel this part when touched by the player, generate a new rainbow pebble material. So let's actually just start off with like, w w what can this AI actually do? So from my understanding, it like I, like it says, it can explain code. It can do you know like like basic tasks here, like insert stuff, uh, and it can also create items for you, right? So let's ask it to generate a new rainbow pebble material. Generate a new rainbow pebble material. So I click, and then what does it do? So it's thinking, creating variants of pebble describe the smooth pebbles in a vibrant array of colors, and has a regular pattern. So that's very interesting. So it creates a variant of Pebble. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It it just created me, a material. How cool is that? Material smooth pebbles in a vibrant array of colors. If I, if I were to make a part right now, let's see what happens. Wait, if I make a part and then... Um, can you apply this rainbow pebble material on the part in the workspace. I'm really curious to see if it can actually do that. Because like th this stuff is new to me too, right? Creating variants of pebble described as a smooth pebble. Right, okay. okay, okay. So it seems like, you know, the AI still has some limitations. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it just made... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Applied rainbow pebble for two part. It can do it. I mean, okay, this doesn't look the greatest, I will admit. <laughs> but, the, but the fact that AI is doing this isn't... So I'm gonna I'm just going to delete all the materials because I really... Yeah, and then it goes back to Pebble, um, which was the, the basic material. Um, let's see what else it can do, right? So we can do that. So it can, like, generate new stuff. Um, we can select a part and ask me to insert a script to propel this part when touched by the player. Um, so what we could do is I could make a part, right? Up, oh, I'll make a part, and then let's see what's a, what's a fun thing. Um, insert a script inside this part that makes it invisible, in visible when a player touches it, and visible when a player stops touching it. So okay, let's see what happens. So I just I I just like okay when the player touches the part, make it invisible. When the player stops touching the part, make it back to visible. And I have attached... So it, it makes a script. It like lets you know what, what they wrote. It, it adds comments. I did... <laughs> oh, that's that's so cool. I've attached the invisible script. Okay. Part has the invisible script. And then if I open it... Um, local part. Function not touched. If humanoid. Find first child, which is a humanoid. Part tra part to transfer equals one. On touch ended, humanoid. Okay, let me just play this. Let me just play this. I mean, like, I know the script is gonna work. Wow. This is it. I mean, Roblox is only going up from here. <laughs> the possibilities of this are actually insane. Like, like, like I, I, at first I thought it was just like an AI that like su gives you like code suggestions, right? But this is. Okay, select a part of the script in the script editor and ask me to explain the code. Um, so I'll just undo that. Um, I will select this and I'll say, 
why did you make this code a function? Actually, no, that makes no sense. I just realized. <laughs> what does other mean in the brackets of the untouch ended function? So you're a new player and you have no idea what they uh, what other means, right? And let's see. Is this how it works? So I highlight it. In the brackets of the touch ended function, the parameter other refers to the other part that came in contact with the given part. It represents the part that the player stopped touching. And it gives you the sources. What is this? Base part. It it gives you the oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's have let's have a bit of fun fun with this. Cause I I just I want to push this thing to its limits, okay? <clears throat> Create a server script which every 0 0.2 0 0.2 seconds creates an unang wait unanchored sphere part and positions it 10 studs above the heads of every player currently in the game or i guess i should say every character every character currently in the game <clears throat> So the goal here is like make a script and then it's going to be like a while loop, I assume. And then as you walk, you just have a bunch of parts spawned on you. I've created a script, but I've not inserted it. I can only insert code in under a selected part or mesh part. Okay, so that's interesting. So it can't insert things into services, only parts. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's see. So I'll copy this code. There should be a button to just copy. Is there no button to copy this? Is there really? Okay, all right, whatever, it's fine. I mean, this, this is, it's a little hard to do when the... Okay, wait, you know what? I'll just... It's not... <laughs> Damn it. Okay, okay, this might be, might be a small problem. Okay, no, it's fine. Save. And then if I make a new script inside server script service script... Okay, let's see. Script for creating... Unanchored parts above the heads of characters every 0 0.2 seconds. It makes a part. It makes the, sh the shape, the size, and the brick color. Does it clone them? It clones? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. How how powerful is this thing? I mean, this, sh this shouldn't be that hard to make. Yes! This is... The next era of AI generated gaming. Like, okay, yeah, I like I get it. Like, you know, this isn't like that complicated to make in hindsight, but this is just the demo. Like, I'm I'm really can this can this thing make, make data stores? This 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 script this AI thing could probably make data stores. Um Okay, as a as a last thing, the last thing I'll do is um I wanted to try out one of my challenges. Which, by the way, you know, hey guys, if you didn't know, I have a um, uh, a bite blocks uh, ch challenge uh, PDF, whatever, right? <laughs> um, uh, it's not a plug. I mean, I get nothing from this. It's in my Discord server. Um, but there was a challenge here, where I had a thing. Um, let me, let me find it real quick. Something to do with Freycast. There we go. Yeah, create two anchored parts, which every zero point zero five seconds will check whether there is a player standing between them. Make them turn green when there is a player in between them and red when there isn't. So if I just copy this and then I go back to the AI and I'm like, make me this. Yeah, create two anchored parts. So the idea here, I want to see, can it use ray casting? Can it understand like like the difference? Because like before that, you know, we've kind of given it like simple, like, like, yeah, okay, it's struggling. Okay, maybe. Okay, no. You can use the following script. Doesn't make a ray cast. What is going on? Okay. Replace part one and part two with the actual names of your anchored parts. Okay, interesting. So it doesn't actually make us the part. Does it make the raycast? Okay, I don't know. But if I just... Okay, it's it's it sucks that like it just... I, I Why can't I copy the code? Oh, I know I can't copy the code. I'm a little... Okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so script.parent is... So we, okay, we make two parts, and then we'll place one part 
in okay we know we'll place the script inside one part and then another and then like yeah okay okay I'm, i i understand i understand um i'll make this part anchored where can i anchor parts there we go and then i'll just duplicate it like so and then inside of this part i'll add the script and then i'll just put this so okay that's interesting okay okay wait local okay wait that's it it copied it wrong for some okay okay whatever it's fine so check interval is fine um part two is going to be i'll just i'll just rename this to part two it's going to be workspace is it really workspace weights for child where's the there we go okay I was about to say, where's the, like the suggested code? Okay, so part one is this part. Part two is this part. So it, it checks the players, checks the position. If... What? Okay, 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 okay. That's interesting, actually. Let me, let, let me see. Let me see if this works as I think it is. So right now it's here. And it doesn't work. Okay. That's really interesting. Why doesn't it... Okay, so they're red, right? Okay, okay. So we found the first thing that the AI cannot do. <clears throat> well, true, wait, check interval. So check interval 0 0.05. I set all the parts to be correct. So for player in players, character, character. So it checks... If player position dot x is more than the part position x, and if player position x is less than two position x. Okay, what if okay wait wait what if I do this? What if I just switch the order of the parts? Will that change anything? Because the method here I was expecting is just make a ray cast from part to part, right? That that was kind that was kind of the uh, yep there we go, and we. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. So it checks whether it's like in between them here, right? But it, it doesn't check like whether you're actually in between, right? So like here, I, I would consider this in between, right? I would not consider this in between, but the script considers it in between. Interesting. Okay. All right. So, it, okay. it's It kind of works. All right. No ray casting, but it kind of works. So I like that. And the last thing I want to check is whether it is able to uh, like tween stuff, right? So the idea here is create a part and create a three second tween, which will change the part's color to a random color. After the tween finishes, create and play a new tween, which is the same thing, uh, tweens the part's color to a random color. The goal is to have a loop, which changes the part color to a random color via tweening every three seconds. Um, okay, so let's, so yeah, the goal here is every three seconds, just tween like the part to a random part, right? Uh, okay, wait. Create a script which creates a part. There we go, okay. Let's see what happens. I'm really, okay. I mean, I am really impressed by this thing so far. Um, like, yeah, okay, no ray casting, I guess, but... Uh, okay, let's see. To create two anchored parts that... Okay, let's see. Replace part, okay, oh, no, no, this one. I've created a script, I've not inserted it. I can only insert code, okay, okay. So, okay, the first thing, oh, it, it, okay, so it gets tween, sir, it makes tween, sir, okay, okay, I see. So this is a server script, I would assume, so let's just make it into a thing over here. Script, do this, so it makes a part, it puts it inside the workspace, gets the position, makes its color red, and then random color, brick color dot random, I didn't, I actually didn't know this was a thing. Uh, tween info, tween, play, completed, up, connect, apply, color, tween. So it calls itself again. And, but then it calls here in the beginning. Okay, okay. I was expecting a while loop, but that... Fascinating. <laughs> Part is not a data type that can be tweened. Okay, okay, okay. So it, it, it got the first thing wrong. Let's see. Line 12. 
Oh, okay. So, yeah, it can't. Okay, no. So part property name brick color on object part is not a data type that can be between. Okay, so you're not able to tween the brick color. Only the actual color, I would assume. So I th I think the way you would fix this, I'm just doing stuff for the AI here because I'm like, I don't know. I <laughs> like I I really want to um. Let, let me let me see part. How would I, how, how would I change the part color? Yeah, like this, just color. Because what I would do is I would just say color three dot new from wait let's see. I would know color three from RGB right. And then I would make it math dot random from zero to 225, right? Since that's the, the range of the color. And then I just do this. And I think this would work. I Because I feel like I'll, like the other script is fine. I just want to... I'm fixing this. Yep. Amazing. Yeah, okay. So the, the script itself actually works. It's just that the AI is doesn't know that like the brick color cannot be tweened. But this is actually really cool. I mean, okay, okay. So I've talked about this thing for a while. Um, and, I'm, you know, I'm sure you've seen how powerful this thing is. I'm actually really excited about this. Like, I'm really... Because the thing is, like... I've, I like I remember I remember one time I went out to ChatGPT. This was, like, a while back. You know, when it, the, the hype was happening. And I decided to ask it some Roblox questions. And it was all right. But, like, when it cannot see my actual, like, file then, like, it, it can't actually do anything, right? Like, okay, it gives me the code, but then, like, it gives me a bunch of errors. And then I have to tell it, like, oh, no, by the way, like, this part is here, so that doesn't work. And then it's like, okay, and then it just does that, but then it forgets all the other stuff I've, I've told it. It's very, very frustrating. With this being able to just insert items into your game, I'm, I actually, that's really cool. Especially, like, I wonder if this works on, like, like um games with, like, team create. So, like, can multiple people use the assistant? That's really cool. Um, well, all right. I guess my final, my final thoughts on the assistant is I'm actually a big fan. I, I don't like when pe people just push AI to places that like just out of nowhere. Like I'm not a big fan of AI, but I really enjoy how like, like I feel like, I feel like number one, this will help cross the gap between experienced developers and like beginner developers. I feel like beginner developers are going to have a much easier time like understanding stuff. And I like, I actually really like, like that. Um, but then also for the experienced developers, this is just a tool to their arsenal, right? So this, th this thing as of right now, it's not going to replace a developer, right? I think the biggest reason being that someone needs to make ideas, right? Like, I, I guess I could say like, make me an idea for a game, right? And then let's see, what is it going to say? Make me an idea for it. The other thing I don't like is that like, whenever I, I type, it doesn't like scroll all the way down. How about a series of players, a uh, series of game where players have to navigate through an obstacle course? Yeah, so see, like, like all, all that, an obstacle course, right? So, okay, the AI isn't the best r right now with making g good game ideas. But, I mean, this, it, it almost works. <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah, fine. Brick color cannot be tweened, but that's it. All of this worked. And the funny thing is, like, this is actually more optimized than what I had in mind. Because what I had in mind is, like, okay, you can make a while loop, and then you could do, like, you can wait for, like, the tween to finish completing, and then you could repeat the while loop. But then this is actually more interesting, because this just runs the function once, and then it keeps running itself. But the while loop would, sl it, it, it would, like, halt any code that would come after it, right? So this actually is more efficient than what I had in mind. So that actually is really interesting. Um, but I guess, yeah, that was the amazing assistant. I will turn back uh, my um, my properties window because I, I hit it, you know, to showcase the assistant. But yeah, that was the assistant, um, you know, button here again to, you know, access it, go to beta features, then check assistant or assistant. Um, I forgot already. It, it's assistant something, right? So check that, save it. Studio is going to restart. And then you will have this button over here. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. AI will soon take over our jobs and we will be, uh, they, they will be our overlords. Ha ha ha. I'm just kidding. Who knows? Maybe. Well, all right. Thank you for watching.